want you to pray the next two years the Lord is showing me are going to be extremely significant for the Philippines. Either you're going to go on to greatness, it's going to be that transformed nation, or I see that there's going to be some trouble times. So pray, pray, pray. I know you're already praying, but this is a time God is going to pull down the spirit of corruption. And God is going to release the spirit of truth and righteousness into this nation because righteousness exalts a nation. The Lord has given many promises for the Philippines. I mean, the Philippines is going to be one of the wealthiest nations on the earth. The spirit of poverty will be broken. So rise up. Even though, you know, it's terrible and everywhere you look around is devastation, out of this darkness is going to come a transformation movement that will be shown and modeled around the world, says the Lord. You know, the Lord shows me over the Philippines there is a principality of corruption. And this corruption has been so systemic and so deep that this principality thinks it controls the Philippines. But the Lord is showing me that if there will be a national fast, praying, everyone, the north, the south, the east, and the west, the whole church, not a part of the church, standing up and fasting and praying. There should not be a day there isn't fasting going on for the Philippines. And I'm calling you, wherever you are, whoever is hearing my voice, whatever pastor is hearing my voice, whatever youth movement, the Lord is saying, love your nation. This is a strategic nation. Fast for the elections coming up. Cry out to God that in the next elections, God is going to move in a massive way. The spirit of corruption will be broken. God is getting ready to move and march through that land. He's going to pull down one and he's going to set up the other. No longer will his words be delayed over the Philippines. If you stand and you pray and you believe, God, the light of Judah, is going to rise and shake his mane over that nation. And he is going to roar out of Zion. And the darkness will be dispelled, says the Lord.